Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to solve question 20 of the GATE 2022 chemistry paper, which is based on the concept of overlap integral of quantum chemistry. So the question is, if 1s a and 1s2, 1s b are the normalized eigenwave functions of the two hydrogen atoms h a and h b respectively, if s that is the overlap integral is this is the bracket notation okay, this is the bracket notation okay then the option that is always correct is okay so before solving this question let us first understand what is the significance or importance of the orbital overlap uh, that is the overlap integral s so orbital overlap integral or we can say orbital integral signifies it what does it signifies what it gives information about what it signifies the extent of overlap between the extent of overlap between the atomic orbitals of the between the atomic orbitals of the two atoms that are forming the bond atomic orbitals of the two atoms forming the bond okay, here which are the two atoms both are hydrogen atoms forming a bond here both the atoms are hydrogens one is called as ha and another is called as hb so both these atoms will have its uh, separate wave functions that we represent as psi a and psi b okay, these are the wave functions of the two of the atomic orbitals of the two hydrogens that are overlapping to form a hydrogen hydrogen bond okay if i want to explain mathematically what is overlap integral this is the equation for the overlap integral okay where what is r r is nothing but it is the distance between the two atoms distance between the atomic orbitals of the two atoms atomic orbitals of the two atoms okay and what does this value range from r ranges from 0 to infinity okay suppose if i put r is equal to 0 okay if i put r is equal to 0 what will happen this value is 0 so anything raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 okay 1 plus r is 0 so 0 by 0 is 0 this is also 0 square by this thing entire this entire terms becomes uh, entire this terms becomes 0 plus 0 so 1 plus 0 plus 0, zero is how much this is 1 so this is e raised to 0 1 1 into this entire bracket value is 1 so the maximum value of s is what s is that is the overlap integral maximum value comes out to be 1 okay 1 what does this mean 1 means there is over orbital overlap present okay orbital overlap is present that is a bond is being formed okay and if i put r is equal to infinity then what i will get e raised to minus infinity by a naught 1 plus infinity by a naught plus infinity square by a naught 3 a naught square now what is e raised to minus infinity it is going to be 0 okay e raised to minus infinity is 0 so 0 into anything is what it is 0 if minus infinity is a very big value but minus infinity means it overall it becomes a very small value so e raised to a very small value is approximately we consider it to be 0. So, 0 into 0 will be how much? 0 into any value is 0. So, if r is, e, r is infinity, if r is infinity, what is the value of s? s is 0 that is orbital uh, integral or overlap integral is 0. So, if s is equal to 0, what does this mean? There is no orbital overlap that is present there is no orbital overlap that is present and any value in between 
r is equal to 0 to r is equal to infinity that will give us the extent of the overlap this will give information about how much is the atomic orbitals overlapping and now if i want to explain this with the help of a graph then how i can explain that okay in this graph you can see this is plot of overlap integral and r by a naught okay same way if again if i substitute r is equal to 0 okay r is equal to 0 means 0 then r by a naught will be how much 0 by a naught so this will be 0 okay so if r is equal to 0 you can see this value here the what is the overlap integral it is maximum s is equal to 1 for r is equal to 0 and now if i want to find out for r is equal to infinity r by a naught value will be what infinity divided by a naught that is equal to that will be infinity so r is equal to 0 is here then if i extend it let's say infinity somewhere over here and for infinity if i want to calculate the overlap integral what will what will be the overlap integral this curve what it will happen this curve will end at the infinity value like this okay at infinity what will be the overlap integral value it will be 0 s will be 0 and in between whatever you can see see for uh, for this value for this point in the curve you can see there is some orbital overlap that is present and as the r value goes on increasing that is this value then you can see the overlap is decreasing and then here it is very minimum okay here you can see it is very much minimum so at the infinity value what will be the overlap integral it is going to be zero so it it ranges from zero to one so what is the correct answer the correct answer is going to be option d that is the value of s that is overlap integral ranges from 0 to 1 i hope you have understood this concept of overlap integral thank you